I am starting out in the desktop version of PowerPoint. I'll switch to the online version in a moment. And uh, I just went to insert and then the icon button and I just keep scrolling and scrolling and I stopped at 3500 uh, and that I just stopped because as I keep scrolling down more gets added here so I know there's at least 3500 and it was still going when I quit um, so lots and lots of icons available here so if I select one like this phone and insert it on the page again the way I got here was insert and icons uh, it is an object that I can manipulate so I can make it larger I can turn it around and if I am just using PowerPoint to get these then I can right click on here and I can copy this and paste it somewhere else or I can save it as a picture if I actually am building in PowerPoint then great it's already here but know that you can take it out of PowerPoint as well uh, also in PowerPoint you have a draw tab so uh, the integration between Google Slides and Google Drawings is, is fabulous uh, but they are two separate programs uh, that work together really well but just know that in PowerPoint uh, there isn't a separate drawing because all, all the tools are already kind of built in here so you have pens pencils and highlighters and for pens you have a variety of tip sizes and pretty much an unlimited number of color choices same thing with your pencils again various tip sizes same number of colors and the exact same thing, believe it or not, for highlighters, an infinite number of colors. shouldn't say infinite, but virtually unlimited number of color choices for your highlighter as well. So you can do drawing and um, sketch noting in here. There's even some fancy you know, specialized, this is the Galaxy Pen. Uh, so you can do your drawing in here. This is the desktop version. Uh, there's also a few other tools here, like ink to shape. So if I draw a shape and then grab it with my lasso and now I can click on here and it says oh I think you were trying to make a square well maybe not maybe I was trying to make a rhombus or maybe I was trying to make a trapezoid so you have the ability to uh, change that here as well so those are all tools under the drawing tab so uh, that's great for teachers but what about students on Chromebooks well if I come out to PowerPoint on the web because so here's that same presentation right here and I have under the insert tab if we go to icons I still have those thousands and thousands of icons available here as well so exact same list of icons and of course you can I'm just scrolling of course you can search in there as well drawing uh, this is just like in OneNote uh, the desktop version of OneNote has an infinite supply of colors and nine different tip sizes and so that's where I was doing all my sketching today. The online version has uh, fewer tip sizes and also uh, fewer colors, but you have 16 different colors. So we're not creating art, we're capturing ideas. So 16 different colors for the pens, 16 different colors for your highlighters, again, multiple choices for your thickness. Uh, so there just isn't pencils on here. So again, I, I, I prefer to work in OneNote, but um, these are pretty much the same tools that are available here. The reason I prefer OneNote instead is because I can scroll as far as I want in any direction and it just keeps expanding versus in um, PowerPoint. It's a set size for your slide. I mean, you can change the size before you start or after, but uh, you'd have to do that manually, whereas OneNote expands automatically. This is a more familiar platform with students, though. They're familiar with working in slides and PowerPoint, and maybe not so with OneNote. So this is what would be available on Chromebooks because it's the online version.